Here's some trending House Hill Entertainment news today. Reports broke today that a pediatric nurse practitioner in New York just pled guilty to selling fake-ass vaccination cards for over a whopping $1.5 million in profit. Ain't that some shit? This chick really out here selling fake vaccines. Get me the hell out of here already. As part of her plea deal, silly-ass pelican face, Julie DeVuono, 51, pled guilty to one count of second-degree money laundering, one count of second-degree forgery, and one count of first-degree offering a false instrument for filing. She also agreed to shut down her practice, Kids on Call Pediatric Nurse Practitioner, PC, doing business as Wild Child Pediatric Healthcare. Pelican de Vuono was arrested back in 2022 on a big-ass 34-count indictment, according to reports. Elise seized over $900,000 cash while executing a search warrant in her home. Officers supposedly also found a handwritten ledger in the home that shows DeVuono and Marissa Herrero, a licensed practical nurse, earned over $1.5 million selling fake vaccine cards between November 2021 and January 2022. The Suffolk County District Attorney's Office launched an investigation after the nurses sold fake vaccine cards to undercover officers. Prosecutors say DeVuono and Herrero sold fake ass, forged vaccination cards which stated patients had received vaccination. DeVuono then entered the false information into the New York State Immunization Information System. According to the indictment, patients paid between $220 and $350 for a fake vaccination card and a false entry into the NYSIIS. DeVuono then laundered the profits by transferring funds through several bank accounts and paying off the mortgage on her Amityville home, prosecutors said. As part of her guilty plea, DeVuono agreed to forfeit a total of $1,252,540.63 previously seized from her home and bank account, along with equity in her Amityville home, prosecutors said. DeVuono also surrendered her professional nursing licenses as a nurse practitioner and a registered professional nurse to the New York State Department of Education. DeVuono is expected to be sentenced to six months in prison, as well as serve 840 hours of community service and five years of supervised probation. DeVuono's husband is an NYPD police officer. He was not charged in the criminal enterprise. Girl, bye. And that's your House Hill news for now. Subscribe to HHE Plus for more rude-ass, authentic news that you can only find here at House Hill Entertainment.